Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your bougie black brother, and I'm here for my first review of the Car Winery. I saw that because that's my last name, C-A-R-R, and I was like, cool, let me see how good these wines are with my namesake. And I wanted to start off with something cool and I thought what would be really, really refreshing would be the Savion Blanc. It's a 2017 Savion Blanc from the Santa Ynez Valley. And the thing is, it was about 518 cases produced, you know, a couple of little data going back and forth. So I wanted to kind of say well, which ones will be um, slightly Something that'd be interesting is a $22 price point. Uh, I did have to ship them to me. Um, so not really bad at a price point. But um, I was just looking forward to say, let me taste something different. And especially a Sauvignon Blanc from other than my two favorite areas, which is Oregon and New Zealand. So this would kind of made me think interesting. And I think really, really skeptical as well. So the, the notes is uh, soft notes of lemon clover, creamy mouthfeel, lively acidity, notes of lemon bar and key lime and a scented, uh, you know, well, crisp and zingy finish. So that's not a Sauvignon Blanc to me, but I was like, let's let's see the twist of it. Or if it's not the Sauvignon Blanc that I like, let's see what kind of wine this becomes for me. I may not call it a typical Sauvignon Blanc, but it may be something that I may want to drink a little later. So if you look at it, I love the bottle too, but as you can see, it's really beautiful. But look at this, the light straw um, look on that. Look at that, really clear. Um, so let's get a whiff so I can give you my uh, thoughts on the aroma. really really nice let me try it one more time really really refreshing you know got that lemon zest um i guess that's where you said the lemon clover but you you get that it pops out really really well so i really liked it and what i did too i i tried it room temperature and then i tried it slightly chilled so to see if i get a um two different flavors i like it a little more chilled if anything so um, let's jump in and get a taste of this one so I will tell you and I'm being honest with you this is not a Sauvignon Blanc for me so if I want a Sauvignon Blanc and I've been trying Sauvignon Blancs from all around the world and I've been trying to see how much of a difference between the two um, but this one, again, it tastes more like the Portugal, um, almost on a zesty end um, with a little effervescence on the end or a, 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 a almost sparkle. Um, don't like that in my Sauvignon Blanc. So this isn't, if I'm, if I'm looking for a Sauvignon Blanc, I want a Sauvignon Blanc. If they were saying this is a Sauvignon Blanc blend, if it's a something else, I think I would have liked it more. I didn't prepare my palate for something like this and it's okay but it's not what i wanted so if you're really looking for a sauvignon blanc this isn't that wine for you so if you say i'm looking for something almost uh similar to a pinot grigio but not as crisp um light on the buttery notes almost like a chardonnay but crisper this is something in between that and and, and it, I didn't like it because I didn't want this. If you go out and buy something and you really want something from there, I would have went from there. If they would have called this a white blend and I would have tasted it, I would have probably assessed it a little differently. But I can't recommend someone to say, try this Sauvignon Blanc. Because if a person has a palate for Sauvignon Blanc, it's not going to be this. It's going to be really, really different. So this is a really different kind of wine you got to be in a different mindset the paradigm has to shift from a name and actually be the wine that you're tasting so you have to take it as it is 
it's a little you, the, the lemony uh refreshing on the front but you only get the lemons you don't really the acidity is okay um it's not it's not balanced this one is in a really good balance as well but hey you try wines you like them you don't this is one that sorry i'm not going to repeat because again I, if I want a Sauvignon Blanc, I have to be able to say I'm getting a Sauvignon Blanc. If I'm saying I'm going to get this Sauvignon Blanc because it's different, again, you have to consciously say this is what I'm going to drink. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. But this is the 2017 Sauvignon Blanc from the Car Winery. Um, not a return buy. Um, it's a $22 price point, which is a little high for me to even buy it initially. But I, I put the effort in and I had about four to five different brands that I got from them. And we're going to try every single one of them and go from there. But anyway, thank you so much for stopping by UrbanWineLife.com. If you want to see it, go to Bougie Black Brother Network, which is on YouTube and Urban Wine Life on every podcast download. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next Friday on Urban Wine Life. Later!